Hello, I'm Don Geiger. What I'd like to show you is the easiest way that I have found to install the tiny batteries into these laser systems. Uh, this particular laser is installed in our laser depth finder, but you might also have a similar one that goes into your deep hollowing rig, or who knows, one of your weapons. It seems to be something a lot of people have difficulty with. I've gotten calls from a few people and said, how in the world do you put the batteries in these lasers? They keep flipping over when I put them in. It'll only take a couple minutes, so uh, bear with me. Thank you. We have supplied three different laser types since we've been producing laser depth finders. The three types are, this laser has a Picatinny mount, which is like a, a mount mount that you'd use on a weapon. This laser is one that is, comes from Trent Bosch that he uses in his laser hollowing rigs. Um, I, I supplied a few of these with our laser depth finders. This is the one we currently supply and it's similar to the one that Trent uh, supplies except ours is smaller in diameter than his. But each one of these uses three L44 batteries. It's a little cantankerous trying to install the battery into the tube here without them flipping over. And they have to be installed properly or they won't work. Uh, the latest uh, laser that we're supplying actually comes with a set of three L44 batteries, but they've been shrink wrapped in plastic um, and the metal's exposed on either end. It makes it really easy to put in. As I'm sure everyone is aware, these small disc batteries come with markings on one end that have a positive mark, and on the other end, there is no mark usually, but the other end is smaller, looks different from the positive side. When preparing to install the batteries into the laser, I've already taken the cap off. Notice that I've got all the batteries with the negative side facing up. I will stack these three together so that they're in a column of three with the negative sides facing upward. I take my laser, push it down over the stack of batteries and slide off the edge of the work surface, turn it over, and now I've got the battery properly installed with the plus side up. And it didn't, they didn't turn over on me. If you just try to drop them in there, a lot of times they'll flip over and it won't work. Screw the cap back in place and test the laser. Well, I hope that addressed your questions. If you have any further needs, let me know. Thank you.